What's going on YouTube? It's your girl V the Notary. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Hope you guys are staying safe. Hope you guys are not getting sick. It's a lot of sickness going on. So make sure you guys have your masks handy. And just overall, hope you guys are doing fantastic. I've had a pretty good week, pretty busy, but I wanted to talk to you guys. This is for all of my Small businesses, large businesses, any businesses that want to do business with the federal government, okay? I know that you guys want the opportunities. You guys are, you know, searching high and low, attending outreach events, all of that stuff because because you guys want the actual contract dollars, whether it be subcontracting dollars or prime contract prime contracting dollars. So I wanted to bring a video to you guys today to talk about the three best places where you are going to find contract opportunities, whether that is contract opportunities that are over the simplified acquisition threshold. If you guys don't know what that is, the simplified acquisition threshold is $250,000. So if you want um, acquisitions, opportunities over that, below that, or even micro-purchase uh, buys, which are 3000 and below, I want to tell you all the places where you need to go to find those opportunities, okay? So I will start with like the most obvious to the probably least obvious that you guys have thought about. So let's get into it. Number one. You need to be searching weekly, at least, if not daily. Some people, some companies even have a designated person to search opportunities. And if you can, if you have the ability to have that, that's great. But you need to be for searching Fed Biz Ops, which is Federal Business Opportunities. You need to be searching Fed Biz Ops, okay? Now, Fed Biz Ops used to be separate from SAM.gov, but sam.gov has kind of taken over everything and everything's all now um, incorporated into sam so that is where you will go for the old fed biz ops to find contracting opportunities okay so why is it so important to be on sam number one you can set up if you don't have a sam account you need to do that it's important that should be one of the first things that you guys do um, because that just has all of your business entity information in there, whether you're a small, large business, whatever, if you're in the 8A program, whatever it is, it talks about your business profile. So that is where a lot of, you know, um, agencies can just find information about you. Okay. So you need to set up a SAM.gov business profile. Now, depending on the dollar value, agencies are required to put solicit and put all their uh, solicitations, you know, RFIs, which is requests for information. You know, those are important. Um, sources, site notices, when people, excuse me, when um, agencies are sourcing, you know, um, companies or trying to find out what companies exist that can provide the services, all of that stuff goes directly into SAM.gov and FedBizOps, okay? So you're going to see hundreds if not thousands of opportunities you can you know go in there depending on your NAICS code depending on the type of services or products you provide you're going to search sam.gov and you're going to look for live opportunities okay so that's the first place please if you have not set up um a sam profile i'm if you haven't i'm going to assume you're very very new because um, I almost think it's required to be a federal contractor. There's some requirements that you have to be, you have to have an up-to-date profile in SAM. So please do that, but make sure you're searching on a weekly basis in SAM for contract opportunities based on your NAICS codes, products, and services, and all that. Okay, so that's the first one. Number two, this is one that y'all probably, you may not know about, is Fed Connect. okay? Fed Connect is, I don't want to say it's an alternative to SAM.gov, but I'm going to tell you why it's important to have a Fed Connect profile. And a lot of people don't even know about Fed Connect. So not every agency uses Fed Connect. Um, I want to say maybe it's 10 to 20 agencies that use Fed Connect. But when you're looking for, so 
Um, opportunities that are over a certain dollar value, um, if they're larger, they're going to go into Fed Connect and then they'll feed into um, Fed Biz Ops automatically, right? But if you're looking for opportunities that are below the simplified acquisition threshold, you're just getting started, maybe you want to start, okay, like I'm just starting to work with the federal government, so I'm going to search for maybe $20,000 opportunities, $50,000 opportunities. Fed Connect, a lot of agencies use Fed Connect for those type of procurements and they're not necessarily in Fed Biz Ops or in SAM. So it's important for you to, in addition to your SAM account, to have a Fed Connect account as well and for you to be searching both, okay? Especially if you're a new business, you want to get, you know, your past performance, you want to get that government experience, you want to ensure that you have a Fed Connect um account also a lot of you guys are targeting certain agencies which you should you know if you're in aviation you should be targeting faa if you're an aviation company you know if you're dealing with tax services or whatever you might want to target the irs or whatever so in addition to everything that i'm saying research the agency that you are maybe trying to um, do the most work with and see where they post their um, rfqs our eyes you know rfps find out do it you got to do your research you guys um it's not going to just come to you, you guys kind of you got to do some of the legwork as well but research the agency that you want to work with to see where they post their procurement opportunities that's important because every agency does not post in the same manner some use fed connect primarily some you might use e-buy which is, you know, through GSA, some may use, you know, SAM. So you got to see where your agency posts, primarily posts their opportunities. So that's important. That's a side note, okay? So we talked about SAM.gov. We talked about FedConnect. And the number three, the third place where you should be searching for procurement opportunities is at the various acquisition forecasts for every agency. It is mandated that every agency have an active acquisition forecast. Now, obviously, when you think of the word forecast, when you forecast something, it's something that's coming up in the future, right? Something that we foresee in the future. So you need to be checking. The, every agency has it, their acquisition forecast. And the forecast is good because, for example, SAM.gov and FedConnect, those are opportunities that are out on the street, right? They're, they, the solicitation has hit the street and they're ready to accept proposals or quotes or whatever. But the forecast, the reason why those are important for you guys to check for opportunities is it, it allows for some more planning. It allows for you to say, oh, okay, well, um, Treasury has an acquisition that is IT data analytics or whatever that would be perfect for you know my company. They are anticipating um, um, putting the solicitation out on the street in the next six months so I can prepare for this, make sure that I have everything together, you know, look at, you know, what labor categories you might need to, you know, do a joint venture with, you know, another company, whatever you need to do. Forecasts are great because they allow for you to plan a little bit further ahead because, again, so, um Submitting a proposal for a contract opportunity, it's work. You know, it takes time. You have to have someone that is on your staff that knows what they're doing, that is, you know, experienced. You have to ensure that everything that is asked for in that solicitation you provide because you don't want to be disqualified because you don't properly, you know, provide the accurate proposal. So, um, yeah, the acquisition forecast and you, again, every agency is required to have one. And if you are targeting certain agencies, depending on the type of services or products that you provide, you should be stocking their, that agency's acquisition forecast and you should know what's coming down the pipe so you can prepare. Okay. So again, just to close this out, make sure you're on SAM.gov so that you can check FedBizOps for opportunities. You want to make sure that you have an active account and profile with Fed Connect. That's number two to find opportunities. And then lastly, you want to make sure that you are checking the various acquisition forecasts for different agencies to see what procurement opportunities 
are coming up in the future so that you can be prepared, okay? So I hope that this video helped you guys have a little bit more direction on how and where and when to find contract opportunities so that you can set your business up for success, okay? All right, please share this video because I know that this video can be very, very helpful to a lot of, be a lot of people and a lot of different um, companies. And if you have any questions, drop down in the comments, you guys. As always, please like, subscribe, share, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.